Okay, so you guys know if you edit your very own montages that syncing is something that a lot of people struggle with. And that may actually be one of you guys and that might be why you're watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna be going over all things syncing for Fortnite montages for both Adobe After Effects and DaVinci Resolve. If you already know how to sync or you think you do, you can at least watch this video because I'm gonna be going over absolutely everything so you might learn a thing or two. But if you guys do enjoy and you wanna support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, guys, so the software I'm going to first start in is DaVinci Resolve, and you guys know I cover this in all my tutorials. And if you guys are waiting for After Effects, I'm going to have timestamps in the description for you guys to actually click on, so just go check those out. They're going to be down there. But basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually head into a new project and look up sync. We can name this whatever, so I'm going to do sync example, something like that, and once we've actually entered the name of the project, we're just going to go into it. So from there, we're going to go to the edit tab, and then we're going to actually initialize the project settings. So we're going to go file project settings timeline frame rate 60 we're going to change this to we get either keep this at 1920 by 1080 but if you do have 1440p clips you can make this 1440 i'm just going to leave it at 1080 for now and then what we're going to do is we're going to locate all of the different assets that we need so for example we are going to need a song and our clips those are going to be involved for literally every single fortnite montage so yeah, that's basically that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to actually find my song first. And if you guys don't know how to download a song off of YouTube, I highly suggest you guys go research that because that's a valuable, you know, know how to actually have in terms of Fortnite montages. So we're just going to drag in our clips on our song. And then starting off in the syncing process, we're just going to drag in the song and we're going to go from here. Okay, quickly before we actually get into the tutorial, I want to quickly talk to you guys about my two editing packs that I have right now. I recently just dropped my 2024 editing pack and that has absolutely everything you need in terms of content creation. It'll help you make the best videos possible and make editing a lot easier when it comes to making your projects. In my packs, I have over 150 presets supporting DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere, and Sony Vegas. A ton of project files for my own videos as well as videos that I've edited for my own clients. So you're able to actually edit professional videos based off of them. I have a ton of sample footage from some of the biggest YouTubers that I've edited for, practice clips for Fortnite, a sound effects library, music library, memes, literally everything you could ever need for editing. And if you guys can't actually afford my 2024 pack, I have an all-in-one $5 pack that's great for beginners as well. So if you guys want to check out either of those packs, they're going to be at the top of the description, but I won't go on any longer. Let's get right back to the video. So I'm going to quickly tell you guys what to look out for. Um, obviously, Fortnite montages are kind of based around beat drops, if that makes sense. Those are going to be the points where we actually have our kills. And DaVinci Resolve makes it very easy to the point where we can literally look at this audio layer and tell where the beat drops are gonna be um, so that just makes it super easy and super simplified to actually be able to see this so for example we need to find that opening beat drop and for this we're gonna be using audio so we need to put our headset on all right so we can see just by looking at the audio, we can see there's a peak here, peak here, peak here, peak here, peak here. Those are all going to be beats, but we're going to literally look for the first time the audio spikes and that's going to be right here. So literally without even listening to it, I can add a marker by pressing M on my keyboard on that point without even listening. So if we listen to it now, boom, that's going to be our beat drop and that's going to be the opening kill. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to come through and we're going to find like two or three more main beats that are kind of evenly spaced apart to actually sync to. Okay, so that's gonna be this one here. And then that's gonna be this one here. So we can see, even just by looking at it, they're evenly spaced out. So it just kind of comes with having knowledge of music, rhythm, what sounds right. Um, there are other beats in the song, don't get me wrong, but those are kind of what beat shakes are utilized for and all that stuff. Um, so realistically, you can add markers to those beats, but make sure you're not adding kills to them because it will look a little bit awkward. Um, so I'm just gonna cut off the rest of this using the blade tool, uh, which is right here, in case you're curious. And these are gonna be the main beats that we're actually using. Now, I'm gonna cut down in the intro as well just kind of use this did you guys know that 94 percent of you guys that watch my videos right now are not subscribed to the channel if you're in that 94 percent, dude i don't know what you're doing just make sure to drop a sub anyways let's just get right back to the video um and i'm gonna move on to the second thing we're looking out for which is going to be um hi-hats or claps so i use these as transition points um, after every single beat drop, so this marker, this marker, this marker, if you listen carefully, you'll hear a you know, boom, and then it's a, like a clap. So it's like a boom, clap. And that clap, I always sync my transition to. You can literally go watch any of my montages. They're all synced to the clap. So for example, 
So you can hear that little hi hat. Boom. 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 So just like that, we have two markers for each kill. This is gonna be the kill, and this is gonna be the end of the clip or the transition point. So easy. Um, all we gotta do now for actually syncing the clips up with it, we just need to do literally one thing. We're gonna need to find the kill. So the rule of thumb that I use for this is I add a marker where we get the shotgun pellet. So we just press M and then we could drag this in and we just need to line that marker up with the marker on the kill. So bring that down, bring that over, go like this. We're gonna find the kill here now. So find the kill, we can come through with our arrow keys. Boom, add a marker, shorten it down, shorten it down, shorten it down and shorten it down. Extend this, now double click on this and we actually can find the kill here. Boom, shotgun pellets, add a marker by pressing M and just like that, dude, it's so simple to sync once you get the hang of it like like you guys saw it literally just took me like what like a minute to do all three of these clips so we can see if we play it now see how that kind of hi-hat or clap the transition point that i was talking about looks accurate and it looks right like it just sounds right that's exactly what i mean so once you kind of do this you'd come through and do your velocity kind of like how i've showed you guys before um obviously i'm not going to go through it because this isn't a full-on editing tutorial it's more so just how to do syncing and all that but yeah that is basically how you do that and by the way i will have a editing tutorial down below in the description if you guys want to learn how to do the velocity the impacts transitions all that so what we'd add now as you can see we'll have you know our impact lasting from like here to here because that is going to be the kill um and that'll look like this for every single kill right here we'll have our impact and then we'll have our transitions looking a little something like this kind of overlapping the end of this clip the start of this clip something like that and obviously it'd be like this if we had another clip but we don't um, and then there is a thing um, called buildups. Now, what I'll do before each montage is I'll come through in all the main kills. So I'm only going to do this for the intro. What we're going to do is we're going to find a good point to start a buildup if we were to add one. Uh, so you guys probably saw one in the intro. I had a buildup where it kind of goes fades to black a little bit. And then there's a bit of a shake going on. Um, that's a buildup. So what we're going to do is we're not going to go to the audio this time. We're going to go to the clip. So we're going to find the point where we can see it's a little messy. If we were to slow it down right here, it would look a little stupid because, you know, he's building. Um, it'll look dumb. So we got to wait till after he's done building almost a clean angle where the player is visible as well as the enemy. And we're just going to add a marker by pressing M. So right here, we'll have a build up with a little bit of an effect. If we were to kind of do the final cut, like you guys saw in the intro, it'd be like a build up shake with a black. Um, and if realistically if you wanted to you could add a build up on every kill so we can see that adding a marker right here would be a little bit too messy because he shoots he places a wall we're gonna come right about here and we are going to add a marker at this point so that's what this would look like we'd have a build up here now for example if we were to have this clip this would be a perfect place to put a build up as well so it just kind of comes with the knowledge of the software um and that is basically how you do that so your project will look a little bit like this once it is finished um but yeah you guys can watch the editing tutorial that i have that is pretty much going to explain how to do all the impacts, how to do the buildups, the transitions, all that stuff. I'll have a beginner's guide down there. But yeah, that is basically how you deal with the syncing of the montage. It is probably one of the easiest steps once you learn how to do it, but a lot of people struggle with it initially. So yeah, just try to practice, do it as much as you can for a bunch of different videos. But we're going to be moving on to After Effects now. So I will see you guys in there. All right, guys. So we are in After Effects now. And all that we have to do when we start up a project is name it, you know, syncing sample something like that a new composition and we're going to initialize our settings by making our width 1920 by 1080 if you do have 1440p you do have the option to do that if you would like to i just do 1920 by 1080 even though my clips are realistically 1440p I uh, just don't really like having to edit the 1440p because it gets really laggy, um, that kind of thing. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. But anyways, that's enough of me talking. The first thing we're going to do for syncing, um, just imagine we're editing any montage. If you guys haven't edited a montage, that's fine. I'm going to walk you guys through this. Um, we're going to import our song along with our 
clips that we're going to be using. So I have um, this right here. I have these three clips and we're going to use all three. Um, and then the first thing we're going to do for syncing is drag in our song. Now, the thing about After Effects is it is very laggy. So we're going to make sure in case it crashes, we press Control S and we're going to save this. So I'm going to call it syncing sample just so we have it in case it crashes. We don't lose all our progress. Now, After Effects, it doesn't automatically show up with waveforms of the audio, which is the number one most important thing when it comes to syncing. But we're going to have to press LL, then we'll be able to see it. So looking at audio forms, we're going to be able to kind of tell where that first beat drop is. And without even listening to the audio, I can tell this first beat drop is going to be right here. And boom, just like that. And you want to know how I know that? If we look at the audio and we exa examine the levels, we can see it kind of dips down, boom, boom, boom. And then there is a sharp spike right here. Sharp spike here, sharp spike here. But we're going to look for that first sharp spike. So if we come here, click on the layer, go to markers, add marker. That's all we need to do for that one. Now I'm going to cut this down using control shift D, um, just kind of to give us more space to work with. I'm going to open this again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come through and we are going to find our two other spots to add uh, markers to for uh, the next couple clips. So we're just going to listen to it. So we can see this is going to be a point right here. Boom. Okay. So I mentioned this in the DaVinci Resolve tutorial, but it really just comes down to kind of knowledge of music. That's a very important thing because if you have a rhythm, you understand what music should sound like, pacing, that kind of thing, you're going to be able to sync montages very well. And I feel like that's kind of what allowed me to understand it so well when I first started editing montages. Um, but yeah, once we have our three sync points or kill points, we are going to come through and add our transition points, which is a very important segment for montages as well. Not only should you be syncing your kills, but in order to have a montage look the best and be professional, you need to be able to sync transitions as well to the song. So what I normally use for transition points, and if you guys have watched my videos before, you know what I'm already going to say. I use the clap after the beat. So in hip hop songs, there's always a clap after a beat. I don't know why, but that's just always the case. So if you listen hard close enough, you hear right here. Boom, right there. That little dink at the very end. The t Boom. Boom. That's going to be a transition point. And got that right there. So I'm on this right here. But realistically, um, we have our markers now, and these are gonna be our transition points. So it's so easy to lay out our clips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through here, double click on our clip in the top so top left. We're just gonna find our kill, press the out arrow after, press the out arrow before, and then this one already has a marker, but I'm gonna imagine it doesn't have a marker. I always come through and I add markers to the kill. So we can see I normally use the kill point as the shotgun pellets. So on the shotgun pellets, we're gonna add a marker to the clip. And then all we need to do is line it up with the marker on the actual song. So if we do that, then we are fine. Drag this out on the side. And then if we come here, my markers are the tiniest bit off. I'm just noticing that now, but we could always adjust them just based off of the audio waveforms. Um, and then right here, for example, you can see if we come to the end, out, press in, drag it in here. And we're gonna find that kill. So we gotta find the pellets, use our arrow keys to come through. Boom, pellets right here, add a marker, line that up. We can just cut it down. Control shift D is cut, by the way. That's what I'm using, in case you guys are curious. I'm using control shift D to cut the clips. Uh, so we're gonna go after, four, drag it in. This one already has a marker, so I'm just gonna show you my process. Use our arrow keys to find our kill. Boom, shotgun pellets, add a marker, just like that. And we are going to line that up with the marker that we already placed on the audio. Now, if we play it, you guessed it, perfect. So even if you see right here, like the transition points, you guys can see how well they are synced. See, it just seems a lot more natural and it seems more synced. So that's kind of what we're going for. Now, what we would do is we would kind of make sure that we have everything ready to go. So what I do for the intro clip normally is I find a good buildup point. And this is a point that we almost have like no movement. Um, and by the way, any marker that you add, you can just right click on it, go to settings and like kind of add some comments and it'll show up right here. So we go kill trans for like transition. Um, you can come here to kill, for example, kill just so there's no confusion. You could just look at the layer and be able to know what is there for what reason, you know, kind of thing. Um, 
So yeah, what I would do normally is I'd go through also as well. I'd go through a third time and try to outline different points that I think I should add build up. So you guys don't know what a build up is. It's a pre kill effect. Uh, I had one in the intro on the very first clip where it kind of fades to black. There's a bit of a shake and it kind of adds to the effect of the impact itself. So I kind of come to a point before the kill where there's just, you know, the player, the enemy, um, not a lot of movement. We can slow it down realistically in the editing process and kind of bring it all together. So I'll come through and I'll add markers wherever I think is suitable and like i said i always come through here go to kind of the settings and i'll change it to whatever i need to label it as but yeah that is basically that and if you guys also do need to learn how to edit in after effects i mentioned this for davinci resolve i'll have an editing tutorial down below in the description for beginners for you guys to actually utilize um, if you haven't edited before that way you can learn but that is how you do that and uh, you would just come through and use these markers to kind of plan out how you'd edit the video you'd add your impact on the kill here you'd add your transition right here and you'd add your build up right here. So it kind of lays it out for the rest of the process. And it's super easy when you have a bunch of markers like this. And I highly suggest that you come through, let's say your thing's a minute long, come through and you do all your kills, you label all of it. It'll make your life so, so, so easy when it comes to actually editing the montage itself. And I've edited hundreds of montages. Trust me, there comes a point where you just learn the best workflow. And this is the best workflow to do this before you do anything. But if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe i hope you guys did learn something that's kind of the goal of these tutorials but if you guys have any questions leave them down below in the comments i'll be actively helping you guys out and answering any question you may have but yeah guys that's basically it and i'll see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out